Greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Wednesday edition of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. This morning we are continuing on our journey through the Psalms and we're in Psalm 111. We'll be reading verses uh, 7 through 10 from the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Father God, we come this day eager to pause, eager to, to rest in you, eager to reflect on your word. And so, God, we pray that you will quiet within us any voice but your own in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that you will speak a word of an encouragement and hope into our hearts for this day. Lord, we love you and we need you. And we, our heart's desire is to hear from you this day. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. So, Psalm 111, verses 7 to 10. All he does is just and good. And all his commandments are trustworthy. They are forever true, to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. He has paid a full ransom for his people. He has guaranteed his covenant with them forever. What a holy, awe-inspiring name he has. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom all who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. Praise him forever. This psalm is truly an inscription of praise, or at least the, the last part of it is an inscription of praise. It is an opportunity for us to praise the Lord. Indeed, the psalm begins with that statement, praise the Lord. And our lives are to bear witness through our prayer, through our praise and prayer of the Lord, giving him praise for all that he has done. And so the psalmist says, all he does is just and good, and all his commandments are trustworthy. What a profound statement for this day in which we live, that where people say that the Bible is not trustworthy. His commandments are not true. But the truth is, all that God does is just and good. Romans chapter 8 tells us that God works all things for good, for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. We serve a good, good Father, and He is a just God. The psalmist says, They are forever true, to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. Integrity is one of those words that seems to be lost in our world today. But the psalmist says, the Lord's commands are forever true. In, a, in other words, they weren't true in the past, but, but they're not so much true today. No, God's word is unfailing and inerrant, meaning that it is as true today as it was when they were first commanded. And they will always be true. And they are, they are to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. What a joy it is when we, when we meet people who have integrity. They have not sold themselves out to the world. They stand for the truth. They stand for the, the truth of God's word. They stand with Jesus. There's something to be said about a person like that. And we are called as Christians to be like Christ. A man who demonstrated what it means to live a life of integrity.
The man whom the psalmist says has paid a full ransom for his people. That's Jesus. You remember yesterday that I mentioned that the, the Old Testament, there are so many places in the Old Testament that point to Jesus, the Messiah, the one who came to save his people from their sin. Well, here we are again in the very next psalm. He has paid a full ransom for his people. In other words, Jesus paid our ransom for sin on the cross with his blood, with his life. He laid his life down for ours so that we could have life and have it to the full. He paid a full ransom for his people, for you and for me. He has guaranteed his covenant with them forever. God has secured our relationship with him through the shed blood of Jesus, his one and only son. The perfect lamb of God paid our ransom, paid our sin debt in full so that the guarantee of his covenant would be available to us forever. What a holy, awe-inspiring name he has. I've said before that I don't often use the word awesome. It is a very common word for for people to use today for, you know, a meal is awesome, a, a, a concert is awesome, a, you know, whatever. They use it very willy-nilly. And I don't use it very often because I, in my heart, reserve that word for God because he alone is awesome. And the psalmist says that, what a holy, holy being set apart, right? What a holy, set apart, awe-inspiring, awesome name he has. What a beautiful expression of God. And then the psalmist says, fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. And that fear is also references that 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 sense of reverence that that sense of of true reverence and and awe and adoration of god is the foundation of true wisdom in other words when we have that that fear that reverence of the lord there are no other gods before him there is no other god that we worship but God alone, our Heavenly Father. That is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments will grow in that wisdom. When we, when we have that, that fear, that reverence of the Lord, that awe of the Lord in our hearts, reflected in our lives, we grow in wisdom, which comes from God. That's why it's so important for us to spend time in God's word each and every day. Because it's when we spend time in his word that we grow in our understanding of God, in our, in our understanding of his will for us. We grow in his wisdom through the inspiration and power of the Holy Spirit. And then the psalmist concludes by saying, praise him forever. In other words, may our praise of Almighty God ever be on our lips. May, may our lives be an ongoing, continuous act of worship and praise of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for what he has done and continues to do in our lives. So friends, I encourage you, let this day be a day of praise and worship of Almighty God. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you and praise you for this day. We thank you for all that you have done. And Lord, we praise you with our whole heart. We adore you with our whole heart. 
and we seek you with our whole heart. Jesus, we thank you that you are willing to pay our ransom with your life on the cross, shedding your blood for the forgiveness of our sins. Jesus, may we walk with you in the newness and, and freedom of life that you alone can give for your glory. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will continue to pour out your wisdom upon us and lead us into a deeper relationship with you as we grow more and more like Christ in the fullness of your wisdom. Almighty God, we ask this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's Holy Scriptures. So, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.